wilderness adores to worship his name. Come, let us pray, let us open our hearts to receive his blessings and to feel his love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to and you, to you my, my brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through, through my, my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, Therefore I ask Blessed, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Dressed us from heavens, the rain and snow come down, and do not return there, till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows, and bread to the one who eats. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. My word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. The seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. You have visited the land and watered it. Greatly have you enriched it. God's water courses are filled. You have prepared the grain. The seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. Thus have you prepared the land, drenching its furrows, breaking up its clods, softening it with showers, blessing it yield. The seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. You have crowned the year with your bounty and your paths overflow with a rich harvest. The untilled meadows overflow with it, and rejoicing clothes the hills. The seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. The fields are garmented with flocks, and the valleys blanketed with grain. They shout and sing for joy. The seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I consider that the sufferings of this present time are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed for us. For creation awaits with eager expectation the revelation of the children of God. For creation was made subject to fertility, not of its own accord, but because of the one who subjected it, in hope that creation itself would be set free from slavery to corruption and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. We know that all creation is groaning in labor pains even until now, and not only that, but we ourselves, who have the first fruit of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. Amen. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. 
On that day, Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat down, and the whole crowd stood along the shore. And he spoke to them at length in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground, where it had little soil. It sprang up at once, because the soil was not deep. And when the sun rose, it was scorched, and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit, a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The disciples approached him and said, Why do you speak to them in parables? He said to them in reply, Because knowledge of the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven has been granted to you, but to them it has not been granted. To anyone who has more will be given, and he will grow rich. From anyone who has not, even what he has will be taken away. This is why I speak to them in parables because they look but do not see, and hear but do not listen or understand. Isaiah's prophecy is fulfilled in them, which says, You shall indeed hear, but not understand. You shall indeed look, but never see. Gross is the heart of these people. They will hardly hear with their ears. They have closed their eyes, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their hearts and be converted, and I heal them. But blessed are your eyes because they see and your ears because they hear. Amen, I say to you, many prophets and righteous people long to see what you see but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. Hear then the parable of the sower. The seed sown on the path is the one who hears the word of the kingdom without understanding it, and the evil one comes and steals away what was sown in his heart. The seed sown on rocky ground is the one who hears the word and receives it at once with joy. But he has no root and lasts only for a time. When some tribulation or persecution comes because of the word, he immediately falls away. The seed sown among thorns is the one who hears the word, but then worldly anxiety and the lure of riches choke the word and it bears no fruit. But the seed sown on rich soil is the one who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and yields a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Maybe most of us have experienced failures in our lives. Failed relationships, failed marriages, failed careers. Maybe we have failed in academics, interviews, and examinations. Maybe some of us failed a few times, and maybe some of us failed countless times. Paulit-ulit na lang bumabagsak, paulit-ulit na lang na nabibigo. Maybe others look at us as failures. Kawawa naman, wala ng pag-asa yan. Sa lahat ng mga 
mga magkakapatid, yan lang ang walang narating. Sa mga magkakaibigan, siya lang ang hindi umasenso. And maybe that is also how we treat ourselves. We look at ourselves as failures. Sinasabi natin sa sarili natin, ang bobo ko talaga, ang hina ko talaga, napakalang, napakawalang kwenta ko talaga, napag-iiwanan na ako. But you know, my dear friends, there is always hope. Sabi nga, di ba, habang may buhay, may pag-asa. When we look at our gospel and focus on the farmer and the sower in the parable, we can see that he accepted the fact that not all the seeds he has sown will grow and bear fruit. Some of the seeds were destroyed, eaten by the birds. Then the young blade is destroyed and withered for lack of water. And the grown plant is destroyed because it was choked by the thorns. But the sower was not discouraged. He kept on sowing good seeds, and then he succeeded. It fell on good soil and yielded fruit, thirty, sixty, and a hundredfold. Anong naisiparating nito sa atin? It teaches us that no matter what happened, never give up. Because our God never gives up on us. Hindi tayo sinusukuan ng Diyos. Patuloy na naghahasig sa atin ng Diyos ng biyaya. Umaasa na yung mga inihasig na kabutihan na biyaya sa atin ay lumago balang araw at mamunga. Never lose hope. Because with God, there is always hope. Never be discouraged because our God is not a God of failure but of success. Oo, nakakapagod na may mga pagkakataon na hindi lahat ng ginawa nating kabutihan ay napapahalagahan o nasusuklian. Hindi lahat ng magagandang layunin natin ay nakikita ng iba. Hindi lahat ng pagsusumikap natin, pagpapagod natin ay nagbubunga agad. But no matter what, keep on sowing good seeds. Keep on doing good deeds. Gumawa pa rin ng mabuti kahit may mga taong hindi naging mabuti sa iyo. Huwag mawawalan ng pag-asa kung hindi ka pa umaani sa mga nagawa mong kabutihan. Be patient, persevere in life. Because one day, we will harvest the fruits, the fruits of the seeds that we sow. We will harvest the fruits of our labor, 30, 60, and a hundredfold. Let us always thank the Lord for His bountiful and unending blessings. Amen. Amen. Please all stand. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the, the communion, communion of saints, saints the, the forgiveness, forgiveness of sins, sins, the resurrection of the body, and, and life, life everlasting. everlasting. Amen. Encouraged by the proclamation and explanation of God's Word, let us respond to it with gratitude and a renewed commitment to put into practice the teaching of the Lord. Let our response be, we praise and thank you, Lord. 
We praise and thank you, Lord, for the gift of the word entrusted to the church as her source of inspiration and a constant reference point in leading people to the truth. Let us pray. We praise and thank you, Lord, for the gift of the word dispensed us through the Pope, the bishops, the priests, and all our spiritual guides under the assistance of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. We praise and thank you, Lord, for the gift of the word that unites and strengthens our communities and makes them living cells of society and agents of evangelization. Let us pray. We praise, we praise and, and thank, thank you, Lord, Lord, for the gift of the word that in every century has aroused new movements and initiatives that have renewed the church and the whole world. Let us pray. We, we praise, praise and, and thank, thank you, Lord, Lord, for the gift of the word that restores harmony to nations, groups, and families, and sets our hearts at peace as we take our rest at the end of each day. Let us pray. We, we praise, praise and, and thank, thank you, Lord, Lord, for the gift of the word that inspires young people to become witnesses of Christ. Let us pray. We praise, we praise and, and thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Lord God, we praise and thank you for talking to us in the scriptures and the living tradition of the church. Grant that we may always understand your message correctly and faithfully carry it out. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. For your offerings in the envelope, you may drop them at the collection baskets. Lord, we gather today in your house, we kneel down and pray. We ask for your mercy as we open our hearts to receive. Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes a prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of, of exultant praise as we acclaim.
To kneel, please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the jewel, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Gilbert our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Please all stand. Sat at the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say,
from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace, peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Those who are unable to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. the body of Christ. Amen. Oh, Lord. 
The second collection which will be done is for the continuing development of the Paris and National Shrine of Saint Padre Pio. Thank you for your offering. Please all stand. Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer for intercession to Saint Padre Pio. All together, 
Padre Pio, Holy Monk from Petel, China, outstanding saint of the present era, our bright beacon in this earthly pilgrimage, our sanctuary in times of trouble, holy exemplar of great courage. With you our needs do we confide, as well as our livelihood, our health, and our might. Silently pray for your request. Unworthy as we are, we pray that you conceive, bless and grace us, that our lives may be fulfilled. From sin may we abstain, in God may we remain. We also beseech thee, servant of the Most Holy, to instruct us in the Gospel, that we may reflect and believe. Our requests are before thee, our hearts repent, resolving earnestly to not sin again, to always follow God the Father, together with the Spirit and Jesus the Mediator. Amen. Please be seated for a while. Para po sa mga patalastas, una sa inyong pagdalaw sa pambansang dambana, mangyaring pakaingatan ang inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangad namin ang isang matiwasay at maayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. Ikaliwa, kung inyo pong mapapansin ay isinasagawa na natin ang pagsasaayos ng extension area sa gilid ng main church at ang minor repairs ng Divine Mercy Sanctuary. Muli po kaming nananawagan sa mga may mga mabubuting puso na nagnanais maging bahagi ng pagawain ito. Mangyaring makipag-ugnayan po kayo sa opisina ng parokya o sa pamisahan para sa inyong mga tulong at donasyon. Ikatlo, ang Osteria ay lugar dito sa pambansang Dambana na maaaring puntahan at kainan ng mga bumibisita dito. Itinayo natin ito bilang bahagi ng updated complementary norms to the 1983 Canon Law and requirement of the CBCP as a national shrine. Kaugnay nito ay mahigpig tayong pinapaalalahanan sa ating panawagang Clego o Clean as You Go. Sa lahat ng lugar sa loob ng pambansang Dambana, lalo't higit sa Osteria. Paalaala po, huwag iwanan ang kalat sa mga upuan. Tayo po ay may mga basurahan sa likod at gilid ng ating simbahan. Ipinapaalam din po sa lahat na gamit ang ating main arc entrance, tayo ay may mga malalaking safe and free parking dito sa loob ng pambansang Dambana. Ikaapat, palagi po nating tandaan na ang pambansang Dambana ay isang sagrado at banal na lugar. Mangyaring sa pagbisita natin dito ay sundin po natin ang mga tama at angkop na kasuotan, tanda ng pagsamba at pagbibigay galang sa ating Panginoon. Ikalima, isang patalastas. Bahagi ng layuning pagpapaunlad o ad experimentum ng parokya at pambansang dambana ni Santo Padre Pio. Sinimulan po nitong Hunyo ay sa kapilya na ng San Pedro ipinagdiriwang ang mga pamparokyang gawaing sakramental tulad ng binyag, kasal at mga katulad nito. Gayunpaman, ang inyong mga makikitang pagdiriwang ng kasal dito sa main church ngayong buwan ng Hulyo ay mga naka-reserve na schedules noong nagdaang taon pa at nagkataong napasabay naman sa pagsasaayos ng Divine Mercy Sanctuary. Mangyaring makipag-ugnayan po kayo sa opisina ng parokya para sa mga paglilinaw at katanungan. Maraming salamat po at mangyaring panatilihin natin ang kalinisan, katahimikan at diwa ng pananalangin sa loob at labas ng ating mga simbahan. Magsitayo na po ang lahat para sa pagbabasbas ng religious articles. Mga kapatid, manalangin tayo sa Diyos amang makapangyarihan upang tayo ay maging kawangis ni Kristo sa taimtim na pagdalangin sa tulong ng mga larawan at mga dasalan. 
O Panginoong Diyos, Ikaw ang buka ng lahat ng pagpapala at biyaya. Ibus mo ang iyong bendisyon sa mga gamit na ito sa pananalangin, mga rosaryo, imahen, dasalan, na nagpapaalala ng iyong kabutihan, kabanalan at pagmamahal sa amin, upang ang lahat na dumulog at magdasal gamit ang mga ito ay magtamo ng iyong awa at biyaya. Loobin mong tularan nila ang kabanalan at aral ng Panginoon at ng mga santo magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Ama namin, suma sa langit ka, sambahin ang ngalan mo, mapasa amin ang kaharian mo, sundin ang loob mo dito sa lupa para nang sa langit. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ang aming kakanin sa araw-araw at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para ng pagpapatawad namin sa nagkakasala sa amin. At huwag mo kaming ipahintulot sa tukso at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Amen. Abagi noong Maria na pupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaing lahat, at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan, ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara noong una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Ama namin, suma sa langit ka, sambahin ang ngalan mo, Mapasa amin ang kaharian mo, sundin ang loob mo dito sa lupa para nang sa langit. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ng aming kakanin sa araw-araw at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para nang pagpapatawad namin sa nagkakasala sa amin. At huwag mo kaming ipahintulot sa tukso at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Amen. Abagi noong Maria na pupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo, bukod kang pinagpala sa babaing lahat at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan, ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass has been offered go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Give thanks to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. Proclaim His name, proclaim His name, give thanks to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, give thanks to the Lord. Proclaim His name, proclaim His name, give thanks to the Lord. 